Good day with this latest video update on Tropical Storm Sanba east of the Philippines on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. See here Tropical Storm Sanba or Bagyong Karen moving east of the Philippines last located approximately 740 kilometers east southeast of Viracatanduanes or about 700 kilometers east of the island of Samar. Maximum sustained winds have increased now to 85 km per hour with gusts of up to 120 km per hour. The system is moving northwestward at 15 uh, km per hour. Uh, These winds are from JMA's latest analysis a few hours ago, but you can see this latest infradimage system looks stronger than what the JMA is showing right now. In fact, JTWC has actually upgraded the system to a typhoon with winds of 120 km per hour so right around 35 km per hour difference between JMA and JTWC and looking at the latest visible image does look like the system is much stronger than JMA's uh, latest analysis you can see the, an eye is starting to form with um, tight banding continuing to occur very strong very uh, uh, symmetrical appearance from the satellite and the latest microwave image from um, three hours ago showing you an eye wall continuing to form the northwestern northeastern uh, side is still partially open but uh, expect that to wrap around um, continuing to to wrap around uh, in the next uh, few hours the latest infrared image also showing you the central dense overcast continuing to really uh, become more organized with uh, very strong convective activity south and east of the center of the storm. The eye, you can see, they're starting to um, become more uh, uh, defined there. Now, again, much much of the convection remains offshore, but we are still seeing some rain showers uh, across uh, eastern Visayas, particularly in the island of Samar, and also late and also northern Mindanao, uh, reporting rains there as well. And also on the eastern side of the system, converging winds uh, bringing rains into Yap uh, Island, reporting uh, rains of up to 180 millimeters in the past 24 hours. Now, as for Palau, much the rains have moved to the north, but still winds of 50 kilometers per hour from the southwest are being reported here, and due to the wide influence of sand bus circulation. Now, looking at the infrared image of the Western Pacific running that loop here you can see sandba over here and you can see very good outflow to the north ventilating it to the tropical upper tropospheric trough located to the north of the system you can also see equator outflow remaining very good as well so again helping the system to ventilate and intensify at a fairly faster rate now you can also see some convection convective activity across uh, Visayas, Luzon and even parts of northern Mindanao reporting rains of up to 80 millimeters uh, overnight actually there and also uh, the islands across central and eastern Visayas reported of up to 50 millimeters uh, overnight so again the circulation of sun by enhancing precipitation across Visayas and uh, those rains will eventually move north into Luzon perhaps into the Bicol region tonight and again expanding more into um, Luzon in the next few days more importantly the system will likely enhance the southwest monsoon as we are starting to see actually the uh, convection propagating from the west across the south china sea and or the west philippine sea and it should uh, could um, impact parts of western Luzon and even into Visayas across Palawan as well in the next few days unfortunately more rains for um, for the Philippines in uh, by, by this week and now as for the track here we are looking at the steering layers in the atmosphere showing you the subtropical ridge on uh, north west northeast of the system and also near equatorial uh, ridge east of the system and also a weak system a weak uh, ridge uh, across Taiwan and that is actually helping the system move more to the west northwest in the past 24 hours the system has actually stayed west of the forecast track from yesterday and I, that again is partly due to the stronger than analyzed uh, ridge here across um, Taiwan north of the system keeping the system to move uh, in the direction of the west northwest however you can see a weakness some sort of weakness over here across the uh, northeastern side of the system and also uh, I've talked about this yesterday a mid-latitude trough is now diving across eastern China 
and that should actually weaken this range over Taiwan in the next two days. But for now, the system will continue in a west or at least northwesterly direction, um, but then should start turning more to the north by at least uh, Friday or into Saturday, perhaps into Okinawa by this weekend. But again, latest computer models still very good agreement despite the trends and uh, the continued westward movement of the system you can see no models expecting the system to make landfall in Luzon this these lines are in the are of a different uh, storm this is from a low pressure area that could develop actually in the next few days but you can see in this latest straight uh, latest uh, data the straight lines indicate where the computers think uh, Sanbo will go and again most of them are taking this to the north right into Okinawa by Sunday. Furthermore, I uh, expect the system to continue intensifying along the way. You can see the latest ocean heat content. Uh, sea surface temperatures across the Philippines here continue to be very warm, very supportive of uh, continued intensification, 30 to even 32 degrees Celsius, and again ocean heat content giving an idea of how warm and how supportive the Philippine Sea is in terms of uh, intensifying cyclones and uh, in fact favorable conditions will continue to exist in the, in the next uh, two to three days uh, due to the weak wind shear, warm sea surface temperatures and good radial outflow of the system and in fact uh, there is uh, a possibility of the system undergoing um, rapid intensification by as early as Friday or perhaps into Saturday as it moves northward uh, in fact, JTW is expecting Typhoon Sanba to reach a peak intensity of Category 4 uh, with winds of up to 215 km per hour sustained by Sunday afternoon. You can see this latest forecast track from JTW is expecting the system to track just west of Okinawa within 100 km to the west. Um, by su Sunday afternoon and you can see in this latest forecast track they are putting uh, Okinawa on the right front quadrant so if that happens uh, you will be in for the some of the strongest winds uh, around the around the storm which is usually located on the right front quadrant along with heavy rains and um, and rough surf uh, in, in if this if this track pans out expect uh, the conditions to start deteriorating somewhere on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening with the peak winds expected to occur around Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon so if you are in Okinawa please continue to monitor the system and prepare now if, um, start uh, start uh, making those plans as it could uh, definitely ruin your weekend uh, plans for um, now and also actually for uh, due to the wide cone of error and again due to the complex some fairly complex steering layers system could you know could could um exhibit uh significant uh, changes in its movement or the track in the next two days so residents across northern taiwan and as far east as uh, kyushu and even chicago should continue monitoring the developments of the system for any changes in the forecast now, lastly, we have JMA's forecast track, again, agreeing and showing nearly similar track as JWC, expecting the system to move in a more northerly direction in the next 24 to 36 hours, and then tracking this system just west of Okinawa by Sunday morning or su Sunday afternoon. And JMA also expecting this system to intensify to a typhoon, if not typhoon already. Um, uh, expecting this to reach a strength of around uh, 140 kilometers per hour right around this time frame and you can also see JMA forecasting system to move northward into East China Sea and perhaps perhaps making landfall in the Korean Peninsula particularly here in South Korea near the city of Busan by early next week and in fact going back to the GTWC forecast Again, the system is forecast to peak at Category 4 and remaining a Category 3 intensity typhoon by Monday. Um, and again, if you extrapolate that forecast track, could definitely uh, move into South Korea by early next week as a very strong typhoon, perhaps a Category 2, but still very strong uh, for a typhoon at this latitude here in the Western Pacific. And if you remember, uh, Korean Peninsula have been devastated by twin twin storms uh, the past uh, three weeks. Remember, Bolivin moved across North Korea, and then following uh, that, we had Tembin moved across South Korea. So, uh, 
brought lots of heavy rains and also damages across uh, the uh, two countries there's so something to definitely watch out in uh, the next few days now finally we have the invest we've talked about yesterday we have invest 90w now moving northward and less uh, located approximately 560 kilometers uh, east southeast of Tokyo. Remember, we had uh, we were watching two circulations yesterday. Invest 99W and 90W, but the former has actually dissipated as expected. 90W has absorbed that system, and has since 90W has now since moved northward. Um, there's still fairly a medium chance of developing into a tropical cyclone as per JTWC. However, they have noted the system is actually starting to become more. Uh, exotropical in nature probably undergoing some sort of transition as it moves to the north we're in fact we're seeing some sort of bioclinic leaf now forming also some dry air wrapping around uh, from the southern side of the system although we still continue to watch for uh, for any changes in uh, the forecast but as of right now the system is too far away to really in impact um, uh, Honshu uh, although some some high waves uh, should be should be expected across the eastern seaboard across um, northern Honshu in the next few days. And to find that an answer update for this Wednesday afternoon, if you are in the Philippines, continue to check out Pagasa. Again, even though Sanba or Karen may not make landfall in the country, system will still likely enhance the southwest monsoon. So still prepare for more rains in the next few days. And again, JMA. Need check that out for the latest forecast uh, for sound, but and also actually South Korea. Uh, if you are in the Korean Peninsula, start monitoring the system as well as could definitely head your way uh, early next week. Stay safe, guys. Bye. -bye.